Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your monthly tarot card reading. This will go from February 2020. I think I want to do away with the weeklies. Um, I just can't keep up. So we're going to go back to monthlies. So um, we'll do the, you know, the monthly, then we'll do the mid-monthly. So every sign will have two readings for the month. Okay, so thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. It helps the channel. Um, what else? What else announcements? Um, thank you to all the people who wish me happy birthday. That was so, so beautiful, so sweet. Um, let's get into it. All right, so Taurus. What everybody is here for. I want to know what's going on in love, right? So, for the month of February, the field tourist has gone for them. A lot of you, you're either married or in a long standing commitment. Sorry, guys. And um, it's kind of stagnant. It's what I'm feeling. It's, it, it's not over. You're not done with the person, but. It's definitely stagnant energy. So let's see. Okay, the chariot. So some of you, like I said, you you are in a relationship, a marriage. Some of you are just really trying to achieve something in regards to your own self, your own life. Like, I mean, you care about your relationship, but you have some personal goal that you're going after. Some of you, something about your car. Your car may be very nice, very fancy. Mm, it could be a new, a newer car. Hmm. Let's see what the, these cards say. Nine of air, page of fire, page of water, wow. So, some of you, like I said, stagnant energy with this nine of air here. Um, some of you, so, if you think it's over or you think it's not going well, you can have what you think. Make sure your thoughts are positive ones. You guys, like I said, might be at the brink of just feeling like not putting any energy into the relationship, into the marriage. Um, sleepless nights. Some of you, I'm getting that you sleep, you're sleeping, you're not sleeping in the same room. These two pages here, you either have children, two children together in your marriage or your relationship, whatever it may be, uh, or you just have um, some newness starting. Some of you have a new baby. Like I said, some of you are really trying to achieve. Okay, I just heard some of you have I feel like this is for my tourist men. Men are like two women you deal with, two younger women. Mm. Some of you, even in the midst of being in your relationship, you just really are just going after your goals and trying to start something new in your own life. Okay, so I can't really, like, skate over this. These are two new people. Some of you out here, you either you're in a relationship, you have, you're, you're, you're in a relationship and you're dating. We have two new people here. One of them is, uh, it could be a fire sign. Um, be careful. It's still new. I think that these people know that you're already committed. So then you have to question their motive also. That could be for one or two people. I don't know, but that's what I'm picking up. Some of you just have some in, new endeavor, like a new business, new you know, side hustle, whatever it is you do. Or maybe even, you could even be going back to school or something creative. You could be draw, drawing, writing, painting, anything. Um,
Yeah, there's for some of you, you got like two new people here. Let's see what the advice is for Taurus for love. If, if it's not you, Taurus, then you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer directly. And uh, they may have the new people. Let's see. Some of you have two children and they're causing a lot of strife. With you trying, with either you're in a relationship or some of you are trying to like find somebody serious with these two children, they are making, they make it very hard for you. They, they require a lot of attention. It says you're ready, especially for that person who's looking for someone but they're still concerned about, you know, motherly duties, opportunity. The opportunity will present itself. Some of you have a new opportunity. Like I said, these two pages here, it could be a new business, and you're moving your new business along. For some of you, um, this is, uh, you have two new people you're dating. It's still new. Helpful people. Okay. And act, okay, ask others for help. Some of you have started a new business or started something new. You need help. It looks like um, it could really take off for you. Some of you, you're working in your own business. You're doing everything. Okay. I know that was supposed to be love, but it looks like it kind of went into career and finance. Okay, what? What does career and finance have to offer Taurus for the month of February 2020? Let's see. Ace of Air. So, like I said, you could be having, you got a new business, you're going to have some victory here. It's not going to be without problems, without challenge. This says victory, but there's still challenges here. So, don't think it's going to be easy peasy. You have two cards indicating that you need help. So don't be afraid to ask for help or pay for help. However, help can come to you. Career finance for tools. The world, the five of earth. So yeah, it's like you're achieving something really grand for you. Maybe like you're, you're checking off one of your long-term goals, but at the same time, you feel like you don't have enough money and you don't have enough confidence in yourself to push this forward. Um, it just may be a change here. Let's see what else comes after this spot of earth. You're feeling depleted. Maybe you put a lot of money into your business or your job. This is what I'm saying. It says, hang on. Because look, you go from the five of earth to the ten of earth. So whatever you're doing, this new thing, it, it's going to bring you a lot of money. This is, um, like I said, a long-term goal. Um, this is, some for some of you, this is your life's work, whatever your passion or whatever you were put here to do. You're doing it. So you no longer have to chase the money. The money is... You are where you're supposed to be. So money finds you. It's funny when people say chasing money. Just get on your right path. It'll come to you. Wow, the bottom of the deck, two of water. Now, when people see this card, they automatically think of love. Yes, love is has something to do with this card. But a lot of times, the two, the two in the tarot talks about money. It talks about um everyday habits, um, what are your habits, what do you do habitually, it talks about the, the exchange, for some of you, you could, this is definitely could be a business where you do hand-to-hand -hand business, like, you, some people buy things from you, or it could be commerce or e-commerce, you could be in front of people or not in front of people, you know, people who go online and buy your things, but it says that you now have um, people coming to you or frequenting your business 
habitually. Uh, it also caught the two talk about caution in regards to checking your own self and your own habits in regards to your money. Hmm. Whatever you're doing, is, it, this is going to bring you a lot of abundance. Very nice. Just stick with it because I see here when you, you get discouraged as any entrepreneur or me, when you see your money dwindling, but it looks like it comes right back to a place of financial stability. So in happy home, material and emotional needs being met. So that's really good here. Um, you get a two here. The twos govern Cancer and Capricorn. Cancer and Capricorn are the rulers of money. Um, and you have the Cancer card. So some of you could be dealing with the Cancer directly. Maybe you have a Cancer as a business partner, as a life partner, husband, wife. I'm not sure. Um, that's kind of... It's going to be victory here with... The cards want you to know that it's not going to be without challenge. It's not going to be without, you know, maybe feeling like you're being set back. But sometimes a setback is a setup, you know. So just keep going with whatever you're doing here because it, it looks really good. Let me see what the advice is for you. There's one thing more close. Let's read it now. It looks fairly good. Um... Like I said, some of you aren't even concerned with love. You're concerned with whatever new endeavor you're, you're taking up. Some of you have some, you're attached to somebody who is dating you and another person. And, you know, they're still dating. Just know that. Um, what's the advice for Taurus for the month of February 2020? Four of Swords. Nice. Um... Contemplate, meditate, pray before you make any huge decision surrounding home, family, your stability, what you've built for yourself thus far. Because it looks like maybe you're taking house money and, and gambling with it. But, okay, though you have a very good financial card here. I'm not the one to tell you to take your money and put it into because I don't know. And this reading isn't for every Taurus. If it resonates with you, you'll know, you'll feel it. If it doesn't, you know, I don't know. Get a personal reading so you know if you should throw all your money into this new business or not. You know, I don't. I couldn't say that in a general reading. So um, the cards are asking you to. Stop, think, meditate, pray before you make some huge decision here. What else do you have to tell Taurus? Ace of Wands, very nice. So this is career. This is uh, a new spark, something new. Like your life, this card says your life is changing. I think you know that. You can feel that. You're already on the path to making, you know, big changes in your life, but you still need to, don't throw caution to the wind, especially if you have a family dynamic, you know, you don't want to take, you know, the money from the home and just put it into what you think is best. If you have a counterpart, talk to that other person. All right, King of Swords, it could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The King of Swords is typically Libra or Aquarius. This person is very smart. They're very calculated, systematic. They have brilliant ideas. Run whatever you're doing by them first. Um, they're helpers, too. They'll help you. Um, this person has, like, foresight. Like, they can see stuff before it happens, before it comes. So, um, you definitely, 
it, it, wow. It, as I'm saying that, I'm looking at helpful people and ask for help from others. And that's exactly what these, these cards say. You might want to learn something by another person, or a trusted person. King of Swords, this is a very fair person. And they're going to be brutally honest with you, but still tactful. And, um, yeah, still tactful about it and, and respecting. They're not going to disrespect you or disregard your feelings. Okay, last week, wow, nice. Yeah, it looks like once you, and this could be a lawyer, this could be somebody who just gives very good advice. This King of Swords, look, you have the Four of Wands, and then the Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands is a card that everybody wants, right? Um, just stability, accomplishment, achievement. This person is going to help you either by way of advice. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have a justice card. What does the justice card say? Say it says good advice or a debt repaid. This person is going to help you figure things out so you can come out of that five of earth funk, like thinking you can't do it, not having enough confidence. This person is really going to, you know, set you straight. And then the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords comes up with creative solutions. So, you know, just this scenario, if there's lack of money or lack of people to make whatever it is you're trying to get accomplished, if there's, there's lack here, this person is going to be very creative in helping you come up with solutions where you, you're then going to have to act fast because this person thinks on their toes. Um, this is also a career change with the Knight of Swords. This is like when you, you give your job like two weeks a week because, you know, you just know, you just know. I'm not telling anybody to go and give their job two weeks. Get a personal reading. Do not take that advice. You know where you are in life. Um, but it looks like you you struck gold here. Like you have something that allows you to to never feel like you're working. You know, you get to do something you love to do every single day. So this is absolutely beautiful. Um, Taurus, have a really, really, you know, okay, so prompted to pull a few more cards, especially for the love situation here. Okay. Oh, and they flipped out. I know that's okay. So ten of water and the emperor. Okay, so some of you are having a really good relationship here, or this new person, or these new people. Maybe a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, is going to provide you with a lot of happiness, contentment, emotional and material needs being being met. You've been at the highest level of happiness with this person. It could even be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be an Aries person. It could be anyone, but who, who might, and this could be someone a little bit older than you or just more established or more wise. This could be you, Taurus. It looks like in, in your home life, it looks good for some of you who are committed, who are in a commitment. Uh, some of you who are single, you're single, you don't know if you're going to meet anybody, you don't know if these two people will even manifest into anything worthwhile. So there we have it. Taurus, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and click that like button. Make sure you get your own personal reading. Go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of coupon codes below. Um, you can also text me. You can text me a question. Um, you can paper your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that also. The number is below. No, it is not my personal number. I will not do that. Because some of y'all... But um, it is, it's a business line. So there are business hours, guys. You cannot text me while I'm sleeping and expect me to answer. So, you know... Give me that courtesy. But I know tourists aren't like that. Anyhow, take care, guys. Have a really good month.